Hey there folks and friends, Connecting Dots here. It's Sunday, March 9th, 2014. I'm not sure if you saw this video uploaded a couple of days ago uh, regarding uh, Michael Cravey, also known as YouTuber Thomas Brinkley. If you haven't, go check it out. I've also released another one earlier uh, this morning regarding uh, bombshell information here. I've been in contact last several days and I've got some um, unbelievable info to pass along. I'm waiting for the green light for everything to be okay. we got to finalize what can be said, what cannot. We're at that point where we're backing up the info, all that stuff that you guys know you need to do when you're a truther. So, um, you know, as I went through some of his videos, he was talking about, uh, Thomas I'm talking about here, he was uh, referring how he believed that the uh, shooting was not necessarily um, all about gun control, that there could be an underlying theme or something else behind that. Um, I've talked about how I found a connection with the gay and lesbian movement. Now I'm going to share with you something that came about here that hasn't really left me ever since I made this tribute video with him. And I happened to use a song that he was singing along in the background of making one of his last videos called The Wild Ride. Now I'll, I'll play that song here and I'll show you how it kind of like... Uh, Hold on a second, you'll see here. It all connects, folks. The big shields on YouTube, they're going down. So, that song uh, that he's singing was put out by a group called Cascade. Now, unfortunately, it's frozen here. I, I'm talking, I've been talking about how my internet's been acting funny. Well, that's, uh, again, you just saw another glimpse of it. This was supposed to continue playing here, and it was going to bring you to this section of the video where you get to see Cascade's uh, unofficial video release. And in that section of the clip, you get to see um, there's a hand in there where people are all going into this that photo booth that you see right now on the bottom of the screen. Yeah, they all need to get in there using their uh, palm print. And this whole palm print is waved throughout the entire video. Um, uh, here we go again, another freeze up. And no, it's not because my computer's slow. My computer is quite fast. I just purchased here uh, so I could get back on to making videos. But like I said, things are acting up. Anyhow, I'm making my point here and I'll leave it a link down below so you can watch this uh, Cascade official release. There we go. You can watch the official release here. You can see I'm scroll uh, scrolling over the thumbprints here, uh, the thumbnails, and you'll see how all of these occupants that f come into this photo booth have to, uh, you know, basically scan their hands, uh, their palms, so they can get in. And you see on the side here, on each side of the person, that that gray, um, um, the gray columns there. Well, that's basically information on each person that shows up at this photo club. Well, oddly enough here, now I'm going to tie this all in, hold on, I'm, I know I'm, this one is not necessarily directly connected, but it is because it's all about, you know how I've, I've talked about how the New York police here is starting to wear Google glasses around the uh, New York City so they can uh, test Google's um, ability to, well, basically scan your face and identify you according to your Google+, Plus, your Facebook. You know how you're all interconnected onto this crap and how I've been saying I refuse to go on Google+, Plus. I refuse to show my real face, I refuse to put any personal information online because it can use be used against you. Okay, so um, those of you have been attacking me saying, oh, you don't show your face. I got a strong reason not to do so. And I've been talking about this since 2008. It's all coming to fruitation right now. Now, this girl here ends up wearing them out to a San Francisco bar. And uh, I'm not going to read the entire story here, but she gets in trouble. And somebody tells her, well, you're giving a hard time here. You're killing this city. And uh, like I said, I'm not going to read the entire story. But, you know, it talks about how, how people basically told her to... to Get that get that stuff out of here, and then you can see here how the, it says that there's a bunch of bars and coffee shops. They've begun begun putting up signs banning the Google devices. So you know the and here even the special buses that employees take to go to the Silicon Valley they've been picketed. Even hundreds of demonstrators re recently gathered outside the uh, Twitter's uh, Twitter's account here uh, headquarters to protest their tax breaks. I mean it's disgusting here. It's all about uh, corporations and how they're going to use 
the biometrics against every single one of us that doesn't go along with their BS. Do you hear me? It's all about tracking us, how we feel about stuff. They'll have all of our information, which is what I was hoping to share here in this video, how all these little bars on, on the side of those people, on each side of them, you can go watch this video, okay? I'll link it down below. Please take the time, go watch it. You'll see what I mean here. All their personal information is all put on the side of this video. Infrared is how they track your, your, your moods and everything else. I've made videos on this in the past. I can't get back into it. I want to carry on here because this is all relevant. Um, Thomas Brinkley was 100% right. It's not all about gun control. It's not all about the gay and lesbian thing, which I'll get into another video. It's about the biometrics and how they're setting up these false flags. Yes, false flags here. I'm telling you, I'm going to prove it to you that there's an agenda here, okay? So oddly enough, right out of Florida again, and this was this... The week that Michael was assassinated, you know, there's they're, uh, they're trying to pass a scan bill here, uh, uh, a ban the scanning of students. So it's already going on right now. Okay, so uh, they almost won. They didn't. They came back here on the Thursday, and it looks like it's it's not going to go through. I mean, sorry, will go through. The bill will amend here this, this scanning here. And oddly enough, I've been talking about how we're being played one party or another. Both party are corrupt here. As you can see, Republicans and Democratic lawmakers expressed their concerns that the ban was an overreach. I don't think so. We don't need this stuff. Now, hold on a second, because it gets dirtier than that. You know, they want to take your fingerprints, retinal scans. It's not just your palm scan. They, they're at that school. They're taking a vein scan. It's all about collecting the data. Okay. And oddly enough, as I said in that video here, where I showed, unfortunately, it's gone dark on me. But you know, it's all about scanning your hands. And those of you that know the government shill on YouTube by the name of Montagraf, who's recently tried to attack me with uh, Maca Electric and a bunch of other fake government agents that are out there pretending to be truthers by what releasing you some kind of news about this is happening that's happening it's sad that people can't connect the dots even on Montagraph's YouTube channel he even has the black and white tiles in the background the chessboard tiles and that's an Illuminati folks the guy's up me, so he's into censorship. I tried to post the information on his YouTube channel showing how Mac Electric was a liar. He knew me from JSNIP4, YouTuber JSNIP4's realistnews.net forum, where I was banned again under false pretenses here. So th this thing that I'm a guy that swears, loses cool, yeah, that's a bunch of BS, folks. I can handle my cool, and I can sure as heck defend myself. And I told Montagraph, your day's coming. So you go watch his video. Go watch his YouTube channel here, and you go see he has his palm on here long before this stuff started coming out. And oddly enough here, we have the Fujitsu palm scanning laptops. You won't be <laughs> fooled by severed limbs. Like, come on, folks. It, it's getting more and more right in your face. Now, hold on a second, because, you know... They may be banning at the school, but they're not stopping here. There's more false flags set up here. And it's all about, you know, uh, about incidences that take place that the news will propagate, okay? And these Mac Electrics and all these other fake uh, YouTubers will propagate but not connect the dots. They don't mind telling you the information, but can't connect the dots worth crap, if you know what I mean, okay? So... Again here, the o the owner uh, of this bar talks about the ID scanning hardware. Uh, you know, it would really help is, uh, you know, and the fake ID that's taking place. But unfortunately, these devices cost thousands of dollars. Well, maybe yeah, they are thousands of dollars, but I have a feeling it's coming to a bar near you and your laptop and everywhere else. They've got this all planned. They're letting you know, folks, biometrics. Okay, no more privacy anymore. And who's behind it? Of course, the big banks. Come on, JP Morgan. These corrupt sons of you know what? I got to continue on here because I got a lot of stuff. Automated passport. So here they're setting up here this automated passport, uh, just a new implementation. But don't worry because it's not going to end there. There's more things that happen that take place that tell you that, oh, they need to do something to make sure that we continue on with this, this uh, uh, bio scan. Hold on. I got the ads. I got the stories coming up here. I just want to show you what else they can do here by just taking your picture, which is why I don't want to put my face or anything on YouTube. They can actually yeah create you a digital size of 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 your person okay i'm uh when in this
So I'm sure by now everyone's heard here about the Malaysia Airline flight that, uh, that went down, the 289 missing passengers, and now you find out what? That there was two stolen passports. Yes. Now, oddly enough here, <laughs> they go on to tell you how, uh, well, the passports weren't checked in the Interpol database. Uh, that's right. So they're setting up a problem here and letting you know that uh, you know it's a common problem uh, on top of having the uh, Interpol uh, database not being verified uh, we have people taking passports and uh, according to the you know what you're led to believe here is that this is probably uh, a, a terrorist attack uh, attack yes that's right that's I'm sure many of you have already come to that conclusion here at least that's what they're giving you especially with the latest evidence that shows that the uh, army uh, tracking showed that apparently the flight was had turned around and headed its uh, was heading back uh, off uh, the ocean back inland uh, long story short here it's all about them setting up these false flags so they can eventually set up what your fingerprints can't lie folks so it's not like you can carry around false ID and once we're all connected into the system, well, we don't have to worry about them. You know, if they check with Interpol, we're all going to be plugged in. We're all going to be plugged in. So I'm going to continue on uh, this uh, um, Thomas Brinkley. Um, I'm going to, I'm collecting a bunch of evidence. I've asked you, uh, many of you to jump, come join my forum. I've unlocked the forum so you can come join in as a member. I'm going to uh, lock it up at some point because the spammers will be there. I know that. I uh, used to, I, at one point, there was only 20 spammers. In the end, when I locked it up, it was about 250 spammers per day. So when, I won't let it get out of control. You have an opportunity to come down here to Connecting Dots One. We're going to start talking about this whole Thomas Evident uh, uh, disaster event. And w especially once I share the information, the bombshell information, I'm telling you folks, there's so much stuff here that's about to hit the fan that uh, we're going to be discussing this for, yeah, for quite a long time. And uh, as I mentioned here, if you come to my con Connecting Dots 2 or Connecting Dots 3, don't wait for my upload notifications. Most of the time, YouTube will not send it to you. I'm, I'm <laughs> very censored here, folks. So you'll have to come directly to my YouTube channel and check out the recent uploads. Okay, that's all I got to share with you at this point here. Um, hope you had a good weekend and uh, hopefully my internet uh, straightens out. You cannot filter it out. It is in you. You are listening. Like when the voice inside your head says something, you are listening. It's it's not even a choice because it's it's inside, right? And it's it's kind of trippy <laughs> uh, to, to even think about the it. The bigger you, you are build listening. the bonfire of understanding. You are listening. <laughs> How can it's I put it? Trippy. The bigger you build the bonfire of understanding, the more darkness is revealed to your startled eyes. We cannot evolve beyond the confines of our language.